The Razer Death Adder is one of the most legendary gaming mice of all time. Many people want one, but they can be pretty expensive. Now imagine my excitement when I discovered this. What looks like a Razer Death Adder on Wish.com and priced at just $9.99. Looking at the pictures, these are all legitimate marketing photos. So there's a mystery to solve here and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. What will I even get? Would it be a fake? Could it be a second hand one? And you may have noticed a few inconsistencies with these marketing photos. There's a picture of the Overwatch version which came out in 2016. And this one isn't even a death adder, that's a Razer Mamba. These images are just different marketing photos from different Razer mice, so what am I even buying? It's like one of those mystery boxes that YouTubers used to do years ago to scam their audience. So I think I'm going to buy the multicolor one, which if it's based on that image, it won't be a death adder. And the yellow one, which should be the Overwatch version. It says 16,000 DPI, 450 inches per second, and it has Razer mechanical switches. Based on that, they're describing the old Death Adder Elite, which also came out in 2016. Oh my God, that's like seven years ago. And here they are. We have one yellow mouses and a color Mal. Close enough. Let's take a look at the yellow mouses, which should be the Overwatch one. This box feels a bit misshaped. Oh my God. Is this a real Razer Death Adder Essential? This just looks like it's been found in a bin. And I don't think this is the real original packaging either. Okay, so this is a Razer Death Adder Chroma released around eight years ago. Could they have sent me a relic from a distant era? What's interesting is that the USB port is green, but not Razer green. The one on the right is from a real Razer Death Adder Essentials. The one on the left is the Razer Death Adder Chroma Essentials or whatever the hell this is. The shapes are identical, but the coating on the fake one is actually a bit nicer and it has a bit of a coarse texture to it. Plugging this in does give us the Chroma RGB, but let's take a look at the other one. So this is a newer looking box and it's a white edition, which is not what I ordered. So I purchased two mice from the same seller that came in two wrong colors and two different boxes. But never mind, let's see what we have. Slightly better packaging, an actual razor green USB port, and it does say it's a Death Adder Essentials. Comparing to my real Death Adder Essentials, this actually more or less looks correct and I would say real. The quality of these mice are actually okay. They don't have any glaring issues, which is always a good thing, but we'll see how they perform in game in a moment. Let's do a quick weight check before we plug them in. The white one is 80 grams and the black one is 78 grams. The real Death Adder Essentials is 101 grams though. I'm desperate to crack these open, so I'm going to do that a bit later. But first, let me test them in game and also see if Synapse will pick these up. Luckily, I have the next 30 minutes free to wait for Synapse to load. Finally, Synapse is now loaded. It detects my Basilisk V3 Pro and my Death Adder Essentials, so the one I have is real. And it also shows a 1000 Hz polling rate. Before we plug the Wish.com ones in, remember the specifications quoted were the same as the Death Adder Elite, so these should have 1000 Hz polling rate. So let's plug in the Razer Chroma Death Adder Essential. Synapse gives us nothing and the polling rate check, and it's a measly 125 Hz. I'm shocked. Let's try the white version. Again, Synapse gives us nothing and another polling rate check. You know what, I'm starting to think that these aren't real razor mice. So let's try it in game and it's terrible. This thing just has allergies to turning fast. Because it's a death adder shape, it's at least comfortable to hold. But this is let down by being 125 hertz. And just a quick point, I tried some mice under $10 in another video and some of those were 1000 hertz. So it's not too much to ask for. So let's crack these open. And I'm going to sacrifice my Death Adder Essentials as well for this comparison. Rest in peace. Let's get these mice out on some paper. Nice. On our Wish.com version, it's looking pretty bare bones. It's just a PCB with the components and that's it. I have no idea what switches these are. I haven't seen them before and I've asked around and can't get an ID on them. You can also see a logo for Instant Microelectronics which will be important very shortly. For the real one there's a lot more going on here. There's a lot more housing and plastic especially for the sides which is important to make sure the switches on the sides are sturdy and held in place. 
But despite it being a bit more busy, everything here is a lot neater. And as you can see, we have the Razer logo on the actual board itself. A quick zoom shows this being a PAW3349 sensor. And for the Wish.com version, it's using a A63EP. And a quick Google gave me the spec sheet for it, which is pretty lackluster. It has a max DPI of 3600, a few numbers away from the 16000 DPI which it said it came with. But now let's take a look at something that is also very important, RGB. I thought this was quite interesting just because of the focus that Razer puts in to making sure that RGB is bright. And you can see a difference in vibrancy, especially in the scroll wheel, so let's take a look. The real Death Adder has the light on a cable that is attached to the top shell. It gets that light closer to the logo, making it brighter. For the Wish.com one, it's just housing surrounding the light on the PCB. But the biggest difference is the scroll wheel. For the Wish.com one, the scroll wheel light is literally the one that sits next to it. This little light is literally just there to try and get something out of the scroll wheel. But you can see for the real Death Adder, they've placed a small LED directly in the scroll wheel itself, and the results speak for themselves. The most interesting thing for me is how this is pulled off. How can a company essentially have a rather convincing, until you use it, fake death adder? I think that some of these shells are just gathered as excess stock, defective units, or depreciated models. So someone has just rounded up all these spares, slapped some junk in it, and shipped them off at wish.com. Something I did find was a person refurbishing a Death Adder Chroma from a few years ago and you can see the inside of the shell looks very similar to that of my fake one. So these ones specifically could actually be from real Death Adders a few years ago. And speaking of defective units, take a look at the white one I have where it's clearly melted around where the LED sits. This didn't happen to me when I've been using it, it came like this. And well, I mean, at least I haven't noticed the smell of burning plastic. But it's funny how wrong it all is, how the store page has marketing images of different models of razor mice, how the specs they decided to copy were quite ambitious. They could have just copied the specs of a real Death Adder Essential and it would be more believable. So if it looks too good to be true, it probably is. I guess these kinds of products are mainly purchased by Facebook boomers who are buying gifts for their grandchildren for their birthday. But just because it's cheap doesn't mean it's going to be bad. Because I have a video on screen now that might surprise you with how good of a mouse you can get for under $10.